In this video, I am trying to explain how to evaluate this integral, integral negative pi to pi, 1 by 1 plus sine squared theta, d theta. In complex analysis, we use this type 1, where we are trying to evaluate integrals, definite integrals, involving sine and cosine, by using the polar representation of complex numbers, and then applying the Cauchy's residue theorem. So we use this uh, example, integral minus pi to pi 1 by 1 plus sine squared theta d theta. And I used various methods of evaluating it. The first method what we used was using Cauchy's residue theorem, which is integral over c f of c dz 2 pi um, and dz equal to 2 pi i s of c i where S, F, C, I is the sum of the residues of the function inside the contour C. We took the contour as the unit circle. And method 2, what we used was using the direct technique of calculus 2 by evaluating the integral using integration formula. The third method for this type of problems, especially the problem what we have, can be explained using GeoGebra. So this video talks about this method 3 using GeoGebra. So let's open this uh, GeoGebra um, page from our Google search and I'm selecting the classic GeoGebra and in that I'm going to enter this integral because I'm trying to integrate 1 by 1 plus sine squared x between the limit 0 to 2 pi. So it is integral 1 by 1 plus sine squared x 0 to 2 pi. And when I enter this, I get the answer as 4.443 which is actually the area of this curve, the area under this curve. But since it is not very clear, let me share this properly. So I'm trying to change the thickness of the line and also the color. White may be brighter. So here I see that the value is the result is A equal to 4.443. So the area 4.443 is the shaded region here, which is nothing but the area under the curve. So the shaded region what I have is the area under the curve, which is nothing but the integral of 1 by 1 plus sine squared x between 0 to 2 pi. So this A equal to 4.443 is, not, is nothing but the area under the curve, which is the value of this integral. So as in this diagram, we see that the area under the curve, which is the integral from 0 to 2 pi, 1 by 1 plus sine squared x dx is 4.443. And in fact, we know that square root 2 pi is nothing but 4.443. So we have evaluated the integral and we have proved that integral 0 to 2 pi 1 by 1 plus sine squared x dx is root 2 pi. So in this video, I was explaining the third method of evaluating integral from minus pi to plus pi 1 by 1 plus sine squared theta d theta, which is nothing but integral 0 to 2 pi 1 by 1 plus sine squared theta d theta and we got the answer as root 2 pi. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.